Thank you. Thank you very much. First of all, I have to say thank you to the McNair family and everything they've done for me so far in my career and uh, obviously for being able to get a deal like this done. It's truly unbelievable, and I, I could not ask for a better family to play for. Uh, the example that they set both in the community and for our team is truly unbelievable. I mean, their charitable acts, uh, the way they handle themselves with class and um, second to none, and I'm so fortunate to be able to stay with this organization for a long time, and I'm extremely proud of that. I want to thank Rick Smith. Um, and everyone involved in the deal, um, my agents, Tom Condon, and everyone at CIA for, for helping to make this happen. Obviously, uh, from day one, I've wanted to stay in Houston for a long time, and I hope the people of Houston don't mind me sticking around for a little while longer because I happen to like it here quite a bit. Um, so I'm really excited about this, and I'm very, very fortunate. And the one thing that I can say um, is that I promise to do everything in my power to work extremely hard to give everything that I have to prove that I deserve this and to prove that I've earned this. And I'm going to do everything that I can do to be the best player I can be for this team, to be the best teammate I can be for my teammates, and to be the best ambassador for the Houston Texans and for the city of Houston. Because I love this city. Um, the people have taken me in as one of their own. I'm so fortunate for that. And I want to represent them, and I want to make them proud every single day with every single action that I make. So I hope they are proud, and I'm going to continue to make them proud. And uh, it's truly special. You know, I was talking to my parents last night a little bit. Get a little choked up, sorry. <laughs> and uh, I mean, it's a big deal. And uh, it was just just cool to think about. We were talking a little bit about Little League football and hockey and the days back playing football with my brothers in the front yard and high school football and some of the people that told you you can't do it and some of the people that tell you you can do it teachers, my elementary school teachers, my middle school teachers, high school teachers, coaches, mentors, friends, just the support system that I've had and the people that have surrounded me and helped me get to where I am today is, uh, is why I'm here. It's not one person. It's teammates. It's coaches. It's everybody. And so it's, that's why it's so special to me. And I'm so very, very thankful and so very, very fortunate. And I can't wait to share it with all the people in my life. Um, just the text messages I've got, my teammates today, my coaches, everybody saying such nice things, um, it really gets to you. And that's, that's why you do it. That's why I work so hard. That's why I love this game, because it can create moments like this. And so I can't wait to create more moments like this, because it's, uh, it's a special place, special organization, special team. And I can't wait to stay here for a long, long time. No, I think that um, my agents and Rick Smith and everybody involved and Mr. McNair, um, I think that they um, did a great job and I think it, it went very well and I'm extremely appreciative that, that they believed in me enough to give me this opportunity. Well, p part of the uh, the the negotiation piece of it is to ensure that we structure the deal in such a way that, that we protect ourselves as best we can with, with respect to that. And so, I, you know, I've got to tell you, Chris Olson, one name that hadn't been mentioned so far is our, our vice president of a football administration, Chris Olson. Chris does a fantastic job of structuring our contracts and, and managing our salary cap, especially for the future as we move forward, where this deal, um, it won't impede us from continuing to build this football team uh, into a championship. You guys are way more quiet today than normal. Mm -hmm. You promised that, didn't you, Chris? <laughs> yeah. Pretty crazy, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's. Uh, I think back to my first day when I took that job, and the guy that was training me told me uh, when I told him that I was just there temporarily and I was going to go play for the Badgers in six months. And he looked me up and down and told me I was not big enough to play for the Badgers. And uh, so, hi to that guy, you know? <laughs> um, but it's just, it's, it's literally unbelievable to think about, and it's very difficult to wrap my head around everything. I mean, um, but that's what makes it so special. I think that's why it's, 
that's what's so motivating to me, my journey, my path to get here and how hard I've had to work to get to this point and how hard I plan to work to get here. You know, I'm not, I'm just not one of those guys that's like, I got, I got it now, I'm just going to relax. Um, I want to go out there and, and, uh, and, and try and be underpaid, you know. I want to go out there and work my butt off so that I can prove that I'm worth it, and that's what I want to do. It's uh, it's crazy again. Um, you know, I'm just a I'm just a kid from Pewaukee, Wisconsin. You know, a small little town, um, who who had big dreams and who worked extremely hard and had a great support system around him. Um, so only to do it so early in my career and um, to have a team show the faith and appreciation that they have. That's why I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful. Um, and again, that's why I'm going to work so hard for this organization, for this city. Um, because I believe that that's the way you do things. JJ, we mentioned the year last night. What type of feeling did you have? I mean, you come back, you go out to the party, you celebrate. <laughs> How did you handle that to where you realize it's a $100 million man? It's a life. I normally don't like to tell people how I handle it. I, I don't know how he handled the immediate <laughs> time after that, but I know a few hours later he was in our weight room because I got a text message from him, a picture of him working out at, at 4 o'clock this morning. <laughs> I've got the proof on my phone. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. <laughs> I couldn't sleep um, last night, obviously. Uh, I mean, there's a lot going through your head and that like that. So I came in and I figured might as well start earning it early. <clears throat> I, tried to, I tried to sleep for a couple hours, and uh, I left my house at 3.05 to come, to come up here. And then they had changed our passcodes, <laughs> so I was locked out. <laughs> <laughs> and a cleaning lady had to let me in. I thought they locked me out. I thought they were pulling a joke on me of my new deal. I was like, this is something else, man. No new deal. I'm not even on the team anymore. <laughs> but no, I'm, I, so I came up here and did a little workout. Um, the wonderful cleaning lady let me in, so thank you to her. Well, I think it was um, it was everything because that was indicative of everything else that he does. He's a pro, and, and Tom's a pro, and so we were able to, to, to negotiate this deal and, and to conduct our business in a way that was private, and, and that's the way it should be, and that's the way that we had, had requested, and, and, and they complied. But he, he's a pro, and, and so, um, like I said, that's, that's how he carries himself. Everything about this guy is consistent, and, um, and, and you rarely find people like that, and, um, and that's what we appreciate about him. Yeah, it does. I mean, I, I was I was serious when I said I I don't think I've ever been in a in a in a negotiation where literally there was so much alignment with how we felt about the player, and um, you know you 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 just you you have to base your your feeling on what the future looks like based on the past, and those those are pretty you know pretty good predictors of what you will what you will have, and and everything that we've seen from JJ. Uh, gives us every confidence that that he will continue to to work the way that he's worked, and continue to be as uh, effective a player as he's been so far. I mean, I'll start first. I, I'll, I'll say this: when 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 the owner has to go to the pawn shop, it's it's a little pressure <laughs> on me. Okay, <laughs> so these deals aren't easy to do. Um, but I will say that with respect to this particular deal, it 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 was um, you know it, it was our pleasure. You know, it, it was something that um, if we could get it structured in a way that didn't compromise our ability to continue to build this football team, it was something that we were going to do. And and I'm just fortunate and, and and grateful that we were able to get it done. Yeah, I would just I would just say that. Um, uh, you know, in terms of, of an organization, you have to take in consideration, you know, all the factors and the impact on the team. And, and so, uh, uh, you know, 
everybody was able to work together and understand, you know, that sometimes you defer certain parts of it and you advance something and treat it in different ways because based on the rules there, it impacts what you're going to be able to do going forward. And so you have to have some flexibility. And, and so that, that really helped us get together the, the fact that Tom and JJ uh, recognize the need for some flexibility there and enabled us to put together the kind of deal that we thought he deserved and he had earned and uh, so uh, it, it's uh, something that uh, I think is going to make sense for the organization going forward for many years. Um, I think it's just kind of the way I was raised. You know, the way that my parents taught me to do things was if you're going to do something, give it everything you have and do it right. Um, you know, if you want, if you want, it's just like with the community. If you want the support from the community, you have to be willing to give that support back to the community. If you want fans to uh, believe in you and buy into you, you better be willing to give them everything that you have and give them a reason to believe in you. Um, so that's why I think just my entire life has been about um, just working extremely hard to make everyone proud and I mean my dad's a my dad was a firefighter my mom started as a secretary of her company and worked up to be a vice president of a company and that's just I'm a small town midwestern kid who um, you know I, like, I, like I've always said I wasn't poor by any means but I wasn't wealthy by any means um, we <laughs> I was talking to my mom last night we uh, we bought some of my hockey equipment at Played Against Sports, you know, a secondhand sports store and things like that. We're, like I said, not poor by any means, but um, I get new shoes now. So <laughs> I get new <laughs> shoes every week now, so that's kind of a different thing. Um, but it's just, it's so cool for me to think about the process and how far we've come and how far um, everything has transpired. But I'm just so grateful and so thankful, and I'll never stop being that kid from – Pewaukee, Wisconsin. I'm always going to be that kid in the back of my head, and that's why I'm going to continue to work. So the camps are still on. So what do you have to do for your parents now that you know, you're going to be working full time now? Playing for your parents for Yeah, they'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be all right. I can't tell you what because they don't know yet. Um, <laughs> but uh, they, the amount of sacrifice that they made for my brothers and I my, our entire lives, taking us to hockey rinks, taking us to football practices, giving up some of their dreams and some of their plans so that we could have the best opportunities possible, making us hot breakfast, making us hot dinners, sometimes two or three dinners. Everything that they did our entire lives, they sacrificed their own time and their own energy to make sure that my brothers and I had opportunities. And so for me now to get this opportunity and for me now to be able to take care of them, is honestly probably the best feeling in the world you could have as a um, as a son, and so I'm really I can't wait to be able to take care of them and to be able to tell my parents, hey, if you want to do something, do it. Well, Rick, Rick might have had a better idea than I did. I mean, I was pleased. We saw a hardworking uh, guy, high motor guy, uh, that we thought uh, would be a steady performer. Uh, but to think that he would be the kind of performer that he has been, no, I, I, I didn't imagine it. Uh, maybe, maybe Rick did, but, uh, you know, J.J.'s just, after the first year, the question was, well, that was his rookie year. And, He'll probably fall off after that. And then, of course, he stepped it up again. And so, I mean, that's what this fellow is all about is, you know, each year he's going to put the effort out there and, and try to be a much better player than he was the prior year. And he's been successful. He's, he's been able to keep elevating his level of play. And so it's a, it's, it's a tremendous accomplishment. Yeah, sure. JJ, did you stay in touch with Tom a lot? Um, I, I had, uh, we talked every now and then, but for the most part, 
Um, obviously, this is going on through training camp. So the biggest focus for me was on my teammates and on practice, making sure that we were ready for the season, making sure that we were getting prepared for everything that we need to do um, and helping some of the rookies out. Uh, because at the end of the day, that's the most important thing for our organization, for our team. Mm-hmm. It proves it works. <laughs> I think that this is what Dream Big Work Hard is all about. Um, the way Dream Big Work Hard works is it's two parts. Dream big. Don't ever let anybody tell you you can't do something. Don't ever let anybody tell you uh, why you can't be what you want to be. Don't ever let anybody crush your dreams. But your dreams don't mean anything if you're not willing to wake up and work for them. So you better be willing to do the second part. You better be willing to work hard, make sacrifices, be disciplined, do all these things that everybody talks about. Everybody talks about being great. Everybody talks about making sacrifices. Everybody talks about discipline. But when it comes down to it and that alarm clock goes off and it's time to go to work and it's time to make those sacrifices and it's time to do the right thing, that's when good goes to great, great goes to best. And that's always what I'm trying to do. And I think that's what Dream Big Work Hard is all about and that's why I'm going to continue to live by it. I've been in the building since uh, 3.30 a.m., yeah. So it's, <laughs> I'm going to get some sleep tonight. <laughs> I need it. Well, we, we are, first of all, we, we're always going to try to improve our football team in any way possible, whether that's the waiver wire, whether that's via trade, whether that's via guys that are on the street. But, but tonight is really about J.J. And, um, and, and the celebration of this extension. But to answer your question, that's what we're always going to try to continue to improve our team. This is about J.J. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no. <laughs> when I go back to Wisconsin, I am literally uh, JJ, the kid that grew up playing junior pirate football, playing pirate football. The people back there, I can go to a restaurant back home. I mean, I get every now and then back home. Um, but back there, they've seen me grow up. So I'm just a kid down the street. Down here is a different story. <laughs> down here, it's crazy. And a little, and the rest of the world's a little bit different. Um, but Pewaukee, Wisconsin is my hometown. Those people have seen me my whole life. It may be a little bit different now. People may get me to try and pick up their check or something at dinner. Um, but other than that, I have a feeling people are going to treat me the same way because I'm going to live my life the same way, you know. Um, I don't think that if, not saying I'm going to, but if I don't think that if you drive a fancy car, you can't be a good person. And so I feel like even if I um, do indulge in a thing here or there, I'm not going to change who I am as a person. I'm not going to change the way that I live my life, and I'm not going to stop working hard to be great. I'll tell you, I'll tell you um, the honest truth. Money doesn't motivate me. Greatness, do greatness does. That's the truth. So this is awesome. I'm so fortunate. I'm so thankful. But I don't do this for the money. And I'm extremely grateful that I'm going to be able to set up my family and my kids and everything. And I'm so fortunate for all of that that I don't have to worry about the money so that I can focus on the greatness. Because at the end of the day, I play this game because I want to be the absolute best that I can be. And I want to go out there with my teammates every single day and try and get better. And that's what's fun for me. That's what makes a difference. And that's why when I was talking to my parents last night, they said, well, how does it feel? And I said, it, it feels awesome, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't feel that much different because it's not going to change the who, who I am or the way that I live my life. I'm going to go out there every single day and chase greatness. That's why you got the contract. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.